are New York City, the Big Apple. Any New Yorker will tell you that you can't see everything that New York has to offer in just one trip. But that's just one of the great things about the place. So don't try to focus on all of it. Just take in these three big things that you should do in New York City. The High Line is a beautiful 1.45 mile long park built on an old derelict railway track called the West Side Line. But don't let the word derelict fool you, as this walking park is beautiful, with views of the Hudson River and the Manhattan skyline. The High Line also features 300 species of plants along the way. A great way to take in a lot of Manhattan's unique contemporary architecture, while having a pleasant stroll. The Statue of Liberty. Of course, how could we not mention it? Lady Liberty was a gift from France to the United States to be a symbol of both countries' independence, and it opened in 1886. The statue is of Libertas, the Roman goddess of liberty, standing tall and free with a broken chain at her feet. Lady Liberty is an incredible 151 feet tall and is a massive icon for the city of New York, no pun intended. To get to this monument, take the ferry from Battery Park in Lower Manhattan over to Liberty Island. Trust us, it's well worth the price of admission. And what trip to New York City would be complete without a visit to the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center? These towering behemoths opened to the city in 1973 and were, at the time, the tallest buildings in the world. These two towers have it all. The 50,000 square foot windows on the World Restaurant with beautiful views of the skyline of Manhattan in the North Tower. The top of the World Observation Deck 1,310 feet above the streets on the top of the South Tower where, on a clear day, you can see 50 miles out. The Twin Towers are two things that you definitely need to add to your itinerary. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and see all of this and more that New York City has to offer.